Three months ago, there weren't enough masks. We were desperately sourcing from all over the world. People were making face coverings from scarves, bandanas, and bits of fabric. Now there are plenty of masks, but some people don't want to wear them. Come on. Mask up, America. Hey, Tiger fans. Remember, the Maslin City School District has a renewal levy issue 32 on the ballot on November 3rd. Issue 32 is not a new tax. It was first passed by voters in 1996 and has been renewed every five years. Issue 32 will help our district maintain current operations and programming. Please remember to vote on Tuesday, November 3rd. Go Tigers! <laughs> Hi again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Nate Moore Show. Our show is brought to you each and every week by Reliable Heating and Cooling of Maslin. I'm your host, Dave Sheets. Joining me is the head coach of the Maslin Tigers, Nate Moore. And Coach, welcome again to the show. Thanks for having me on. Coach, your Tigers are now 7-1. You've won seven in a row after beating North Canton Hoover last Friday night in the Division II Region 7 playoff game. Looking back at the big win last Friday, what will you remember most about that game? Well, I, I think it was an honor to take the field against another Stark County team. You know, we don't get that, that chance that often. And um, so to be able to do that and in the playoffs with a lot on the line, um, you know, that's what I'm going to remember. I know you don't take things for granted, but your team did have a big lead at the half. Uh, how do you and your coaches manage to keep the team focused and motivated when you come out in the second half after having a big lead? Well, you know, our, our kids um, – our, our kids were focused going into the game. Um, you know, they were focused at, at, at halftime and, and during the break. And, you know, we've got great leadership on this team. So, we, 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 you know, there's some things that we don't have to worry about as much, and that's one of them. All right. Late in the third quarter, there was an hour and a half weather delay. Can you share with us uh, what your team is doing during that delay and then how you're keeping the team ready to come back out and play? Well, you know, it all depends on the situation of the game. You know, in, 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 the, in, in this game, we were – you know, more focused on just getting back out there and just, just keeping the kids, um, you know, keeping them, you know, kind of uh, I, calm down and, and make sure that everybody's distanced and, you know, all those things. And, um, you know, and hopefully we get, uh, we get out in 30 minutes, but then there's another lightning strike. So, you know, it's, it's, it's more, let's just, you know, let's just get through this together. And, and when they say we're allowed to get back out and, and warm up, then we'll, we'll, we'll get back ready to roll. The Tiger defense was outstanding again. Uh, the, the guys did a really nice job of containing the Hoover quarterback. What were some of the ways you were able to keep their quarterback, Ashby, in check? Well, I, I think we got some some good pressure on him. You know, we we racked up uh, um, you know a few sacks on the night and, and some pressures, and um, you know, so that's definitely key. Um, you know, and, and and having good coverage down the field helps. You know, it's all got to work together. Mm -hmm. Your offense started fast once again, uh, finding a lot of success early on, running the football, and then that carrying on throughout the game. Uh, rushing the ball that that's the number one key for you, isn't it? It's up there. <laughs> How are you able to have such success there? Well, our offensive line and our, our tight ends are playing really well, uh, coming off the ball and, and you know blocking with great effort. Our running backs run hard. Our quarterback distributes the ball well, and you know so everything's got to work together for that to be successful. And the guys are doing a good job. Uh, I noticed that uh, you seem to use the short passing game a lot, some quick tosses out to the left and to the right throughout the night. Was that uh, part of the game plan all week then? I mean, that's, that's always a part of the game plan. I mean, that, that's really our base offense. And, um, you know, we kind of we take what the defense is giving us there, and, and Zach Catron did a great job distributing the ball. 
And finally, another solid performance from the special teams. Uh, can you give us an insight to who the coaches are that oversee those units and tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, Jason Jarvis is our special teams coordinator. He does a, a fantastic job. I thought, uh, um, you know, we operated really well on special teams and, and have for most of the year. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I thought our, our punt team was really good. Our, our kickoff has been getting better over the course of the year. So, you know, uh, Coach Jarvis does a fine job with those guys. All right, in a moment, we'll meet a Tiger player, but first this word from Reliable Heating and Cooling. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40 plus mile per gallon cars weren't even in the rear view mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's solar ready, the quietest, most energy efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call Reliable Heating and Cooling for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, Call Reliable Heating and Cooling. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. And thank you, Reliable Heating and Cooling. Joining me now is senior co-captain Zach Catrone. Zach, welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me, Mr. Sheets. Pleasure to have you with us. Uh, first of all, congratulations on a great win over Hoover last week. Thank you, thank you. Tell us a little bit about what that Tiger locker room was like after the game. Yeah, so uh, after the game, um, I wouldn't say we're, we're very... We were excited to enjoy the win. Um, that's what the coach Moore always says first is enjoy the win for the night. But remember, we got a game next week. So uh, I think we're all focused on the next week and uh, enjoying the win for the night, but keeping our minds right. Well, I'm going to ask you a question that I don't have on my sheet, but it just came to me. What's that hour and a half rain delay like, that weather delay? What are you, what are you doing to stay loose? What are you doing to keep your edge? Yeah. So. Uh, uh, th those situations are tough. Mm -hmm. um, you can make one of two decisions, sit around and uh, mess around with the guys in the locker room or you can take it serious and get that advantage over your opponent in the other locker room. So uh, I know myself personally, I just, I had a ball in my hand, I was mm -hmm. staying moving around, flipping around, finding the laces, mm -hmm. doing what I could do in those circumstances to stay ready and stay locked in. So. Now, the Tiger rushing attack was special against Hoover, uh, but you also had some success throwing the ball, especially some of the, the shorter routes where you're throwing out in the flats to the left yes, and to the right. Uh, was that part of the plan going into the game? Yes, sir, it was. Um, we, we had a game plan where uh, we're, we're going to take our – or we're going to force the defense to come up because if you notice in the past few games this season, mm -hmm. uh, teams are taking away the deep ball, and as they should. So. Mm -hmm. uh, our game plan was to get it out to the flats, get out to our Fs, those short routes, draw them up, and then when our shots open, like the touchdown to Ballard, we take them. Your offensive line did a really nice job with pass protection yes, the other night. Uh, that's got to make things easier for you. Absolutely. It does, uh, 100%. When uh, those five up front are working and uh, giving me time, it makes everything, and everything else uh, easier. So. Well, there's not a lot of things that have been normal about this football season, as sure. you well know. Um, but I had a thought earlier this week that uh, this is actually would have been McKinley week. Yes, sir. Did that thought cross your mind this week at all? Um, yeah, I, I've tried to stay focused in on the week and against Westerville mm -hmm. South, but it, it has, especially me being a senior. It, it, it slipped across my mind, uh, everything that what could have been and all the excitement. But uh, at the end of the day, it's it's unfortunate, but it's it's not McKinley Week anymore. So, staying locked in on Westerville South and yeah. And you and you're playing ball. Yes. I mean, absolutely. There was a time where it looked Blessing. like that may not happen. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, all right. Uh, how do the coaches keep you guys focused on the game that week? You know, the fans want to talk about next week and and the the last week and you know previous years and and so on and so forth. But you guys always seem to be locked in on that next game. How yes, do they sir. do that for you? Yes, sir. That, that starts with Coach Moore and uh, the coaching staff. They always preach, stay in your lane, stay in your bubble. Well, uh, don't, don't feed into the outside distractions of the world because it's not their job to go play the game that week. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, that, that's what really hits home with me when I hear them say, stay in your own little world and do what you have to do that week to get to the next week. So. Um, and finally, you play undefeated Westerville South this coming Friday That's night. It. As the Tiger quarterback, uh, what can you tell us about the Wildcats' defense? So the Wildcats' defense, uh, in the box, they're uh, odd front 3-4. Um, they'll walk down an outside linebacker usually on the line. 
Uh, in the secondary, uh, it's, they run a strange defense. Um, it's more of a, a loose man where their corners are, are playing off, but they're playing man, man on man. So uh, we, I believe that's so they uh, don't get burnt on the deep routes. Because um, we have seen in the film over the past week, there have been some times where uh, the wide receivers have gotten past them. So I know, especially playing a team like us, uh, th th they're going to really be playing off. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Zach, uh, best of luck on Friday. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for joining us. Zach Catrone here on the Nate Moore Show, and Coach Moore will join us after this timeout. Of questions about the coronavirus? I'm here to share some simple steps you can take to help protect yourself and others. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 plus seconds. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects. Wash hands after touching commonly used items. Together, we can help slow the spread. And we welcome you back to the Nate Moore Show. Thanks to Tiger co-captain Zach Catrone for joining us on the program. Coach, we just spoke with Zach, and uh, how would you grade out his performance in the win last week over Hoover? I think he did really well. Um, I, I think he distributed the ball um, well uh, within our offense, um, made some nice throws, um, throws really well on the run. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were able to get him outside the pocket, and um, yeah, I thought he had a fine night. Your Tigers will face undefeated Westerville South at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium this Friday night in a Division II Region 7 semifinal matchup. Uh, what can you tell us about the Wildcats program? Well, they're undefeated, and they're undefeated for a reason. Uh, they're a good football team, score a lot of points on offense, um, have an excellent quarterback and, and receiver and running back. Um, so, you know, we're going to have our hands full. From what can you tell, uh, competition-wise, who do some of the teams they play, and, and how would you judge that, that level of competition they've been in? You know, um, it, it's, it's really not something that's, that's relevant to us. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we're, we're more focused on them rather than their opponents and, you know, comparing scores and whatnot. We just don't really get into that. Okay. And uh, defensively, what kind of schemes will they show you and uh, how do you hope to attack them? Well, they, they operate out of an odd front, a 3-4 base, but they'll play some odd stack and, and, and they'll play some even front as well. Um, and then... It, coverage wise it's, it's it's a little bit different than what we've typically seen it's just kind of a loose man coverage mm -hmm. um, so but they they're they're kind of a high pressure high risk reward kind of attacking defense so is there any team on the schedule this year or, or a team that you've played recently in the last couple of years you could compare them to probably closest to Benedictine oh, okay. that we played this year Okay, great. Well, Coach, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I want to thank Coach Moore and Tiger co-captain Zach Catrone for joining us on the show this week. This edition of the Nate Moore Show, as always, brought to you by Reliable Heating and Cooling. I'm Dave Sheets. Thanks for watching, and as always, go Tigers. Maslin City Schools is proud to have one of the top career technical education programs in the state of Ohio, recently receiving a number one ranking of the 93 districts in the area of achievement. Our career technical education department offers 14 pathways preparing students for college and careers. All students have the opportunity to participate and compete in their career technical student organization, as well as obtain valuable experience in the field while earning aligned industry credentials and or college credit in high school. Visit MaslinSchools.org for more information. Bye, sweetie. I love you. Bye, Mommy. I love you. No matter where life takes you, MCTV helps make sure you're never far from home. Hi. Are you being good for Daddy? Yes. Can we read a bedtime story? MCTV connects you to home because that's what matters most. Good night. Sweet dreams. MCTV. We go the extra smile. I joined cosmetology because I've always loved coloring hair and 
different colors and makeup. I joined media because I've always had a passion for all things related to media. I've always had a passion for teaching other people especially topics that I'm interested in. I want to pursue a career as an orthopedic surgeon. And so when I saw that we had this class, I immediately circled it on my schedule and was excited to join. This class has made me better because it made me very responsible. I like the relationships that I've developed in this class. The girls that are in here with me, I've really grown close with all of them. I joined this class because I enjoy helping others and I want to make a difference. Even like just making something and having people go, wow, that's really interesting. It means the world. It was just a really good environment to be in. It was real hands-on and it was just something I really wanted to do. I joined the construction trades to gain experience in the job I want in the future. Everything that this class has taught me will account for my career in the future. Before I came to this class, I was unemployed and Ms. Markley helped me get a job. I'm going to use what I learned in manufacturing in order to better decide my career. It gave me more knowledge on cars and gave me plans to go in the auto industry. Maslin CTE works for me. 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 Works for me. For me. For me. For me. Maslin CTE works for me. For me.